What's up, everybody? It's the Spiritual Life. It's Pat passing through, and I'm back at you with another video. I wanted to talk to you guys today about something I actually read, and I, I, this story was so gripping to me at the same time. It was just, it was a good story. It was inside of the other Bible, and it was about the situation where Hades, when, when, when Mosa went down to Hades to go pick up everybody that was down there. Remember, he descended into hell to go pick up everybody who had died prior to that. See, everybody who had died before, if you died in the world before, including his including his uh, prophets, they went into Hades and they stayed there. So there was no way of them going on to glory in heaven with Mota, okay? Unless it was a situation like Enoch where where the, um, the Most High took him, okay, and, and and Moses, he took Moses, okay, so all of the other people who died, like Isaiah, uh, Adam, everybody else, those people were still housed, all of his disciples, everybody that got killed was all housed inside of Hades, and I was like, oh, okay, wow, this is crazy, but when I read it, I was like, okay, so that's why when he was crucified, they said he was dead three days, and within that three days, he went down to hell. And in that three days, this is what happened. So you got Satan down inside of hell talking to Hades, you know, and everything, basically like trying to put him in a trick bag, all right? And he's sitting up here telling Hades, look, it's going to be a, a dude coming down here soon that I killed inside of the uh, you know inside the mortal world he gonna be coming down here soon and i want him you know give him to me as soon as he get here okay and this is because he thought that mosa was a regular dude <laughs> okay so hades is like he said are you sure he said this is who he is he's like yeah he said x he said he said yeah he's the one who uh asked for lazarus to come he's like hold up hades is like hold up wait a minute the power that took Lazarus up out of my domain was like the power coming from the seventh, seventh heaven. And if that's what, if that's what this dude that you waiting for, you said woke up Lazarus because nothing has ever gotten past my seals or none of my, none of my gates. And they called that one up and that one went past all of my safety, all of my gates, all of everything, all of my defenses. It he left up out of here with no problem. The only thing that I've ever seen do that is a, is, is a seventh heaven power. And if that's the case, if this dude has got that kind of power, then I don't want no parts of this, bro. Oh, no, no, no. This is seven heaven. I don't know. He ain't, he ain't got power like that, man. He ain't got no power like that. He ain't got no power like that. That wasn't him. That wasn't him. He was like, if that dude, and this is, this is, this is Hades. He's like, if that dude called Lazarus from down here, he passed everything that I have. This is another, that's that's on some next level stuff that I don't want to be a bother with. Sammy Haza, don't have me in no bullshit, boy. Now, they steady talking. Meanwhile, here comes Mozart. <laughs> Mozart done got, when he got his, his outfit, I'm feeling ready to rumble outfit on with his uh, with his top uh, heavy duty angels. Michael, all them come downstairs like, yeah, 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 what's up, what's up, what's up? He come to the door like, open ye gates <laughs> and let them be lifted up right now. Open ye gates. And, and, and Hades like, you sure this ain't, you sure you, who did you kill? Yo, he ain't this heavy house. Don't worry, don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You like that? He's like, yeah. You go out there defending, and I'll send a couple of my demons and that thing to you know back you up. Y'all make sure y'all keep the gates. Now, meanwhile, you got Isaiah and them sitting here like, don't be scared, hey, don't be scared. Open the door, man. <laughs> God, open the door, cause hey, cause Isaiah's like, I remember my memory. Keeps me well, but uh, I prophesied that he would come into hell and take everybody out of here. What you mean take everybody out of here? This hate like, what you mean take everybody out of here? Everybody's leaving when this bro come in. Come on now, you got to be kidding me. This ain't who I think it is. You're like, man, don't be listening to Sammy Hauser, man. <laughs> out of all the like, man, I wouldn't do it. And then you got David down there telling you, scared, ain't you, boy? <laughs> God, open up the door. God, open the door. You scared? Don't be scared, boy. <laughs> You, you know 
these black people, they was clowning. They was clowning Hades. They really was. So Hades sitting back thinking about this. Once again, here comes Moses. <laughs> Moses is like, open ye gates. He was like, hey, hey, hey. Who is it? <laughs> Hades like, you know, you ain't got to get upset. You ain't got to get upset. I, I, I just need to know who is it that's coming to my gates. And all the angels answer, <laughs> all the angels answer for him. It's a, it's a son of glory who is mighty and mighty in battle, and all the gates shattered. Boosh. And I was like, oh shit. Hades came, okay. Most of them come strutting in with the big old angels, like, I shouldn't have had to ask twice, but whatever. Where's, where's Sammy How's that? Sammy House comes up. You, you died in, in heaven. Who are you supposed to be? Sammy House sat up there and grabbed. Sammy, not Sammy House, but mostly grabbed Sammy House by the head. Dog walked his ass over here. And your ass over here. He comes up to Hades. Hades like, man, if I had known it was you, I would have opened up the door, man. It wasn't even all that serious. Could you please leave some people here for me? You know how long it took for me to collect all these souls? He like, I need you to hold this piece of shit right here. On ice to my second coming. Get it? Get it? Good. Good. Okay. He get he throw him over there. He like, I, who the hell did you kill? You you killed him out of everybody. Do you know who that is? Then you gonna bring this shit down to me? Oh, I'm gonna do nasty things to you. He cleaning out my entire hell. Everybody leaving. I'm gonna do some nasty things to you, Sammy. Oh boy. He's like, anything else you need, Mosa? Anything. He's like, I'm taking everybody. I'm like, I, I, I kind of figured you don't take everybody. Whoo, who going to do the work around here? You know how long it took? You can't just leave me some people. Some people just leave me a few guys. No, he cleared out my house and said, woof, and everybody was gone. Everybody went up to heaven. I was like, wow, that was a hell of a story of, of what actually happened. Because you all know, when we read this inside of Matthew, Luke, or whatever, what happened to at the crucifix we are left just with his body and then him ascending into heaven afterwards and they said it was an earthquake and all that other stuff that happened right after you know what i'm saying while he was up there hanging on the on the crosses that's where they leave us at in the story but inside the other bible they actually take you down to hell where that situation happened and it showed that our brother our big brother ain't nothing to play with. He ain't no scared, hippie-looking dude, man. That kind of movement comes. You know, he, he pulled up in hell, y'all. He pulled. That was the pull-up of all pull-ups, okay? He like, open the gate, boy. Open the door. I'm not going to ask you no more. <laughs> I ain't going to ask you, but, but, but one more time, open up the door. And on the second time, he busted the gates. <laughs> he busted the gates. That's so pretty. That's some pretty gangster stuff, y'all. Our brother's not sitting out here playing no games with nobody. But that was such an interesting story. It was a really good story. It's entertaining for me. Because it lets you know that our brother is not no, no what they tried to portray, portray him to be. Some, you know, long-haired, you know, yuppie dude that's, that's, you know, soft and loving everybody. Now, he don't love everybody. That don't, you, you rolling up like that, grabbing people by the head, like, in your ass. And telling someone, telling, telling the keeper of hell, keep him on ice till my second coming. All right? I don't want to hear nothing about nothing. Him getting away any of that, I'm going to have your head. You understand? And, and even Hades like, no problem, bro. Hey, I got you. And then when they left, oh, Hades had Sammy. He's like, you know I'm going to do something nasty to you, don't you, Sammy? You messed up my house, boy. You understand? These, these are the true gangsters and mafias, okay? You got to understand just how cool our brother really is, man. And just that whole entire situation. Because when you read, you understand that he controls the left. The most high controls the left and the right hand side. In certain levels of the different heavens, you have angels that are on the left. And you have angels that are on the right side. So you got good angels and you got bad angels, y'all. And that's something to think about. A lot of people don't think about that. That, that that the most high, if, if bad things happen, it may be that it's the Father's will that they do. Because sometimes things work out that way. He may use somebody that's evil 
to bless you in a strange kind of way. You understand what I'm saying? I've seen situations like that where, where evil situation ended up turning out to be a good situation after all. So, you know what I'm saying? That's why they say all things work together to, you know, for those who love the Lord. It is it's very much so true. And for him, to, for you to understand that he controls not only the left hand side, but the right hand side. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing, y'all. It's a beautiful thing. And I just wanted to share that with you all because I think you all need, really do need to get into some of these other books. They have some amazing stories. And these stories are stories that's been kept away from us. And I can see why. You understand? This is a, a whole conversation that happened in hell. You know what I'm saying? You got you got regular people that were down there all of that time. It means everybody who died before the time of Christ was still sitting down in Hades. Waiting. For Mozart to come get them. So they hadn't even ascended to heaven yet. No, there was nobody going to heaven yet. He had to come and make that situation happen so people could die and leave this world and go to him if that's where they were going. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Because some of us ain't going there. All right? It's just that clear. Y'all know how I go get back in line, try it again. You understand? But the reality is, is that a lot of us need to understand that this life is a lot more complicated and, and things that happen spiritually are more involved than what the popular um, information that was given to us really is. You understand? It's, it's a lot more involved in it than just that. They took these things out of the Bible because these things will add to people's questions and their questions that they can't answer. So that's the reason why they never let that kind of stuff out to the world, okay? And, and I can understand why. Because this means free thinkers. And in a world where you have people who are not able to read, who don't have a lot of good education, and only education that you can get is the same education that you get right now, and that education comes with a price. And if you are poor, there's no way you're going to know these things. You know what I'm saying? So even, even if you're a Gentile, you're not going to know half this shit. So you have to understand, the, the powers that be have had us in such a closed, controlled area now. And because of this thing that they call the Internet has opened up people who would normally not have the ability to access certain information, they can access certain information. Now we can get books from halfway across the world that are not that were not open to us. We can get things and, and knowledge that wasn't there once upon a time. So even though this situation was put here, you understand, for maybe good and bad purposes, okay? Look at the good that's coming out of this specific situation the internet okay we can access information that they don't want us to get we're accessing information every day they don't want us to get and putting it out there saying hey y'all this is what's going on here so they can't they can't keep everybody in the dark and because of the fact that they have put so much of everybody's businesses on the internet and people doing business on the internet and making commerce on the internet they just can't cut it off like that because it's their lifelines as well as the world's lifeline so it's like you got to take the good with the bad and what the good part is coming out of it is is that we're able to get information that we weren't able to get stories of information that we weren't able to get so I just wanted to drop by and, you know, make you laugh a little bit and let you hear that story because a lot of us don't know the different books that everybody is reading. Some of us can't afford the books that everybody is reading. Every once in a while, it's it's a good thing to let some of the stories that, that, that some of us that are on here read and share them with everybody because that might put it on their heart to set some money aside and try to get the book and look at it and do some reading on their own. Because some people just need an extra push. Because believe it or not, I'm not rich either at all. But when it comes down to certain things that I want to do, I don't mind spending $20. At one point in time, I had a cigarette habit that here in Chicago, cigarettes are $18 a pack, honey. I was throwing that kind of money down and some getting cartons, $150 getting a carton of cigarettes, okay? I can throw down some money on a book that's going to extend my knowledge and, and open my mind up to the most high a little bit more and learn what he wants, how, how he wants me to be as a person. 
So I thought I would come back and share that with you all. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye.